Chris Brown fakes his community service and probation could be revoked this week. Chris Brown got 180 days of community service after pleading guilty to beating on Rihanna or R&B artist Rihanna. Um, And, you know, he's told the courts he completed all 180 of those days. Come to find out, Chris Brown might be a fraud. Isn't that horrible? That's horrible. We're joined by Monique Robinson, actress and commentator. Hello, hi. Thank you so much for having me today. So let's talk, let's break down these days of community service. So some of his days of community service um, he did in the city of Richmond with the police. Um, and, you know, the DA in the, in the state of California looked over the records, looked over the transcript, and looked over Chris Brown's schedule. And the DA, uh, and the Virginia chief of police in Richmond says Chris Brown did X service on X date. Okay. Come to find out, on X date, Chris Brown was on a private jet to Mexico. Oh, wow. Maybe doing service there? No, Monique. Not doing service there. Okay. Second day, they checked another time, two other times, uh, and Chris Brown was at a concert. Performing. Couldn't do a day full of service if you were performing. Well, maybe he was like doing a service for the fans that he was performing for. Monique, are you really going to defend these type of actions? Violating your probation? I'm just saying. It's hard. It gets worse. So his mom used to work for the Tappahannock Children's Center. Uh Um, She was a director there. And she was the person responsible for his other days of community service that he did. He did at the Tappahannock Children's Center. And one of the tasks that he professed to do was to wax the floors. Now, first, I just can't imagine Chris Brown waxing floors. Well, I can with all of those dance moves and the crumping. I guess a lot of body movement that you can do the wax to. I can see you waxing the floor like this. You could definitely You could do like the wax on, And the wax off, he even, like Mr. Miyagi. He even talks about it. Mr. Miyagi, hey, look at me now. Oh, getting wax paper. Anyway, come to find out, he's never waxed the floors because (laughs) the guy who at the Children's Center who waxed the floors has been waxing the same floors for three years and he's the only person that's ever waxed the floors. And never missed a day. And never missed a day of work. Shout out to him for not missing a day of work. Shout out. But beyond that, he says, Chris Brown's never even touched a wax machine. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lie number two. Then, they said that Chris Brown picked up trash in various alleys in Richmond. Okay, I can see that. Too bad Chris Brown didn't know which alleys he picked the trash oh. up in. <laughs> and then he professes like, but because the paparazzi was following me, I couldn't remember which alleys they were. Oh. Really, Chris? Sometimes you're blinded by the lights. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> Hopefully, That's Chris cold. Brown will find love in a hopeless place, the L.A. County Jail, where he might go if his probation is revoked this week. Oh, Chris. It's horrible, isn't it? Like, seriously, though, you got off with a slap on the wrist. A simple slap on the wrist. And now you're going to go to jail because you're an idiot. Oh. Well, maybe he might do service there. And, I mean, even, like, this this chief of police, um, Chief Norwood, Brian T. Norwood, mm-hmm. Richmond Chief of Police, says, oh, well, Chris Brown, he released a statement saying that, you know, Chris Brown did beyond 220 community service hours for us, even though he only did 180. Too bad the form that Chris Brown turned into the department of the L.A. Department of Corrections. He only did 162 hours of service. 220, 62, oh. 162. Well, Chris, I love you. Chris... I think for the fact that you have all this money, you could do a little better job and be more responsible. I love you, Chris. She loves you. I can. I like your music, though, but you need to be more responsible. I'm just saying. 